How's it going everybody? Look, today I'm going to show you my favorite way to edit videos for TikTok ads and also for Facebook ads. So if you've been following me for any length of time recently, you know I'm a big proponent for using our best performing TikTok ads over in Facebook, but you may already be aware that sometimes the TikTok ads are a little bit long in that portrait story type ratio, that they don't quite fully fit the Facebook and Instagram news feeds. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way I've found to do that and also add captions. It's also the main point of this video too. So anyway, let's get into it. I'm not gonna waffle on too long about this. So first thing you want to do is download this app over here for laptop and PC called CapCut. It's owned by ByteDance and essentially you'll be able to do all of your editing, clipping, keyframing, ad captions, make it also the right ratio for Facebook and Instagram news feeds with this app. So I'm assuming you're going to be able to download that with no issues. And then once you've done that, this is what the application actually looks like. So I know this might look intimidating for those of you who don't do much video editing, but trust me, it's really not. We're not going to use more than 80% of the functions here. I'm going to keep it very simple. So the first thing you want to do is get your raw videos off your phone. And then you want to add them into this little spot here. Over on the left here, you can see there's a spot for media add the video and just drag it in or upload it right here. And then all we're doing is we're dragging this down into our timeline here. Now we're ready to go. I'm just gonna make myself smaller. The main point here is that you ensure you're using a nine by 16 ratio, which is just the same ratio as Instagram stories and TikTok first. So if you just look where my cursor is, we're going to click here. I'm gonna go down to nine by 16. You notice that this fits a little bit better and now we're gonna add the automated caption. So the first thing we do is we go up to the left here, go to text, go to auto captions, we'll go create. And now you see over to the right hand side here, our captions have been auto generated. So what I usually do first is I'll go to this text and then I'll go to the font and I'll change the font down to classic. Classic is the general TikTok um, font if you want. Then what I'll do is I'll click on this preset style here, which just puts a black border around the white font so it doesn't get lost in any colors. So we'll do that. And then I'll make the font size a little bit bigger. So now what I'm going to do is just play the video a little bit so we get some captions coming up. You can see them there. And I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger. And you notice it's really good that it actually wraps the text as well. Super, super handy. Now. What I'll do next is I'll go into captions and I'm going to, a lot of the time you'll find that it doesn't capitalize a lot of the places where it needs to capitalize. So I'm going to just backspace that. And you'll notice that each line here is the next caption that's about to come up. So we're just going to play this for a little bit and see what it looks like. And you'll see me change them some things as I go. So we're going to go back up here and add an exclamation mark. And then you see it hasn't been capitalized here. So we're going to put a W there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, add a space because it's basically I don't usually allow for more than two lines at a time. So all I do is I go to where it makes sense to make a space um, and separate the caption. And I'm going to go, you can kiss those and press enter. And now what's going to happen is it's going to go, you can kiss those pesky power bills goodbye. And it's going to separate those into two different parts of the caption. So we'll just start up here so you can see it. Makes sense? So now I'm just going to go through and finish off the rest of it. So that's more or less about 80% done. The next thing I like to do, you don't have to do this, but the next thing I like to do is add some emojis in just to kind of brighten up the overall feel of the video creative itself, the video ad. So what I do is I use a website called Emojipedia. And all you can do is just go straight. You can search these different emojis yourself. They're all the same emojis you've already got on your phone. But you can see here I've got a waving hand. Um, obviously, being a solar brand, we've got a sun emoji. This pointing down finger I use a lot, I'll actually just click copy on that one. And then I'll go into the caption itself and I'll control paste that in there. And you can just see that there's a pointing down emoji in there now. So that's how I like to use them. So I'm gonna go through and add some emojis just to add some flavor to it. Cool. 
Cool. So emojis have been added in. The captions have been done. We've looked at the grammar, the uh, ensuring there's no more than two lines in there as well. The next thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit of music. So all we do, you can add your own tracks here if you want, but what I do is I'll go to the audio section up here. I use one called Going Home. There's a lot of different songs that you can use royalty and they're designed for commercial use, meaning that they're not going to get banned on Facebook, Instagram or TikTok ads. So I'm going to use this one called Going Home. And we just drag that one in, place it in there. What I'll do then is I'll just go to the end of the video. I'll just drag my cursor to the end of the video. You can see the lines there. And I'll right click and you can either go and split the clip here or you can do control B for Bob and it'll split the clip and then I'll press delete on my keyboard and it'll delete that so that the audio is fitted correctly. Next thing I do is I'll look at the volume of the audio track to make sure it's not too loud against uh, my business partner's voice here and you want to make sure that, that it doesn't overpower. And you also want to make sure that the audio you're using generally doesn't have people singing in it because that can add a bit of unnecessary interference. So we click on that. I know that with this track, I reduce it by 18 decibels. So you'll see on the right here when I move this cursor down, I just move it down to minus 18 decibels there. And we'll just make sure that that's the right decibels. And that's pretty well good to go. So this creative is good to go for TikTok ads as well as Instagram story ads, Instagram reels, Facebook reels as well. So what I'm going to do now uh, is click export, which is going to render it and make it, basically put it into our download file and ready to go. So we'll get export. I'll call this, um, say hello to Solar, I'll give it a date, and then we go export. And go cancel. So that's now in my download folder ready to go. Next thing I'll do is make it the right ratio for Facebook and Instagram mobile news feeds, which isn't this tall. So if we go into the ratio here again where it says 9 by 16, and we go down to one called 3 by 4, it's not as tall and it's just a little bit wider. So all we do is I'll just move the video, I'll drag it up a bit, grab it by the right bottom hand side and I'll move it out until it fits that ratio. And then all I'll do is just bring it down so that his head is just above the text, but also within, it's got a bit of a gap between the top of the actual creative as well. And we shouldn't have to change too much of the actual captions, but we'll just have a quick look. Now what I'm gonna do is, I want this caption to be a bit bigger. Nine times out of 10, it should actually be fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the caption. I'm going to go to text. The font size I'm just going to drag up. And then we're going to watch that back. Make sure that there's only two lines max in there. Cool. So the captions are just a bit on his chin. So what I'm going to do is just move them down ever so slightly. So we just click them, drag them down a bit to about there. And we'll just watch back here. Cool. And that's pretty well good to go. Um, one thing I am going to do is, you might not be able to hear it, but there's a little bit of vocal singing in here. So it starts about this point here. So what I can do is use the slider, which is basically zooming in on this whole project. I'm going to zoom right in. And the singing starts about here. So what I'm going to do is click on that. I'm going to press Control B for Bob, and it's going to split the audio track. I'm going to press Delete on my keyboard, get rid of that. I'm going to click on the audio track we've already got. So I'm going to go Control C for Cat, which is going to copy it. And I'm just going to press Control V for Victor, and it's going to paste it right where I deleted that clip. And then when I play it back, there's going to be no singing, and that's going to match quite well. Cool, and that's good to go. And then again, we're going to click at the end of the project, uh, click on the actual audio track, Control B for Bob to split it, and then press Delete on our keyboard, and that's good to go. So again, we will export this file. My naming conventions, how I prefer to name them, is I'll, in brackets, I'll put 4x5. A 4x5 tells me it's just not a long ratio format like Instagram Stories, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, and TikToks. And then I'll um, call it what I call it. Cool, now that that's done, the final two pieces I'll show you is to how to add it into your Facebook Ads Manager and actually run it as an ad. 
um, which I'm not going to do a full setup. I've got plenty of videos on that on my YouTube channel if you want to have a look, or feel free to just ask me. But then additionally, I will show you how to add it there as a TikTok ad as well. All right, so we're the ad level, the ad level, I should say, uh, on Facebook Ads Manager. And all I'm going to do is add media, add video, go find where it is by clicking upload. And that will be this folder here. Save how long to solve it. So really interesting about CapCut, when it actually um, downloads your files, it puts them neatly in a folder so that it's really important to have that naming convention there. So the first one I'm going to upload is the shorter, kind of wider variation for Facebook and Instagram news feeds first. So we'll jump in here, open that one, let that upload. Cool, so that is uploaded and you'll see a preview down here to the right hand side. Let's get some things out of the way. So that's what it's going to look like on the Facebook mobile newsfeed. And then I can also show you the Instagram mobile newsfeed. So see how it fits a lot nicer than you know, perhaps if this I was to upload the longer variation first, there'd be bits missing. Um, his head would probably be cut out. The captions would probably be cut out as well. But this is the next point. So what we're going to do now on this same ad is upload the longer version for different placements like Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, um, and Instagram Stories among a, a couple of other few. So scroll up and we'll go to this little section here, which is Stories, Reels, Apps, and Site. We're going to click on the pencil and then we're going to go to Change and then we'll go to Upload. And now we'll go back to our folder and we'll look for the same video creative but the one that doesn't have the four or five in front of it. So we'll go in here and we'll go open and that will upload. All right, and that is uploaded. So all we do now is just go save. And then as that saves, I'll show you what that's going to start to look like. Um, so we scroll down to stories and reels. Um, so if we look at Instagram stories, this is what this ad's gonna look like. So see it takes up all the real estate there as opposed to being cut off. And then additionally, somewhere we've been having a lot of success with getting new leads is Instagram Reels, and that's how to show in Instagram Reels. This is actually a placement that's working really well. So next step would be um, publishing that ad. Hopefully you get great results. If you don't, obviously give myself a call or hit me a reply back on the email. I'm going to show you how to upload it into TikTok Ads Manager to run as a TikTok ad. So we're in my TikTok Ads Manager. Again, I'm not going to show you completely how to set up a TikTok ad campaign. I do have a video on that. Just let me know if you're interested in watching it. So I'm just going to go update and then from computer and going to click to upload. And we're going to find this is exactly the folder we're looking for. So this is the video that we created that was much longer, the first video, not the short one. So we click on that. We'll go open and the, ready to upload. Just bear in mind that TikTok ads need to be under 60 seconds. We'll go upload and then we'll just wait for that to finish uploading here. All right, now that's that uploaded and done pretty well, you can have a look at the example right here. So that'll run on TikTok, obviously. And with that, um, just a quick little added bonus here is when I'm testing new creatives is I will test them for a maximum of four days. And I'm only testing two at a time usually. And that's with anywhere from a 30 to $50 a day budget, so max when I'm testing new creatives, two at a time max over four days, $50 a day, so $200 to figure out which of two creators at a time are the best performers. And then what I'd usually do is either let it run if it's working well, and then create a sub ad set to test out a new creative. I know that sounds really technical. If it does, feel free to book a call with me. And then from here, what I'd usually do is take our best performing script or creative, and then I get the client or my business partner in this case to do more variations of that and maybe even take our script, put it into chat GPT and ask the AI to say, hey, make this sound different, push out a new script, get it filmed, and then go through the same process again. So I hope that's been really helpful. Feel free to reach out via email or socials if you have any other questions and have a good day.